My name is Laura Blumenschein. I'm a postdoc at Stanford's Charm Lab, and today I'll be discussing our work on creating mechanically reconfiguring antennas using soft continuum robots. Within the field of soft robotics, many designs have been developed for traditional robotic tasks like locomotion and manipulation, which use the compliance of the soft body to better adapt to unknown or changing conditions. However, there are many applications where the compliance of soft robots could also be used to create functional shape reconfiguration. One such application is in the development of reconfigurable and deployable antennas. Electromagnetic devices like radio antennas are 3D systems whose properties depend on their geometries. Manipulating the physical structure of these systems can produce dramatic property change and enable diverse functionality. While mechanical shape change has been demonstrated previously, it has also been limited. The shape change demonstrated in deployable systems can't be easily used to create antenna property reconfiguration. Meanwhile, mechanical reconfiguration has been limited to simple motions like sliding, bending, and twisting. Designs within soft robotics can give more dramatic reconfiguration possibilities, and the materials and actuation methods involved are ideally suited to avoid interfering with the function of electromagnetic devices. In this work, I'll discuss the mechanical and electromagnetic considerations when creating soft reconfigurable antennas, a helical antenna design that allows polarization switching through handedness switching of the structure, and the functional EM testing of the soft helical antenna reconfiguration. Soft robots can exhibit a large range of shape change due to their compliance. One recent class of soft robots, referred to as fine robots, are able to create large shape change through length change by extending from the tip using internal pressure. These growing robots have been used previously to create deployable structures in a range of shapes and for a range of activities. In our application of tip growing robots to reconfigurable antennas, we follow a set of design principles. We create deployment using the growth degree of freedom. We achieve shape change through the compliant pneumatic structure of the robot. We dynamically assemble the EM structure from segmented conductors. And we demonstrate large shape change by transitioning between multiple antenna shapes. Shape change of the growing robot has been demonstrated previously, so the primary design consideration was how to create conductive elements that were effective EM structures when assembled, but didn't interfere with the system when not in use. We refer to this requirement by two parts, electrical transparency and mechanical transparency. This was achieved through sub-wavelength scale building blocks, or subs. The wavelength and sub-wavelength refers to the operating wavelength of the antenna. By subdividing the antenna into small enough pieces, the pieces became transparent to the operating frequency when separated, but form a responsive EM device when they're brought into contact. Similarly, while the conductor pieces are stiff compared to the compliance of the soft robot, they do not affect the overall flexibility of the structure while separated. However, when actuated, they act to limit the local shape change, leading to repeatable and robust shape formation. This electrical and mechanical transparency was validated through simulation and prototypes. Using a monopole antenna as a test shape, electromagnetic simulations of solid copper conductor have a clear resonant frequency in the return loss and a symmetric radiation pattern, which is matched by the simulation of the segmented but connected monopole antenna despite additional resistance at the contact points between segments. When the simulated subs are separated by only a few millimeters, the antenna loses this resonance and the power of the radiation pattern drops off significantly, showing an effect of off state when separated. We additionally check the effect of adjacent subs on connected antennas. While the simulation shows a small effect of the adjacent sub, overall it demonstrates that the antenna behavior is unaffected, so multiple antennas could be placed on the same soft robot. While a conductor could be segmented in a number of ways, the sub's construction is focused on creating mechanical transparency. Alternating 3D printed ball and socket joints allow for robust and stable connections between pieces at a range of angles. These pieces are plated with copper, which is appropriate for transmitting radio frequencies. These pieces are attached directly to the body of the robot so that their shape change closely matches that of the robot, which can then be actuated through tendon actuation. When a tendon routed through the subs is pulled, this collapses the space between the subs and causes them to connect. This changes the shape of the soft robot as well, as you can see here where the tendon actuation causes the tube to bend up. When the tendons are fully pulled, the soft robot remains flexible in the directions orthogonal to the tendon, while still allowing the subs to stay connected. 
The ball and socket conductor pieces also allow for the reuse of subs in multiple antenna paths. Multiple tendons can be routed through the same conductor piece with each tendon connecting a different path on the soft robot body. With the design methods for the soft reconfigurable antenna in place, we now show how it could be used to create a handedness switching helical antenna. It has been shown previously that wrapping a tendon in a spiral around the robot will cause the robot to form a helix when the tendon is pulled, and the handedness of the formed shape matches the handedness of the tendon. Previous work showed that the parameters defining the shape of the helix the radius r and the pitch b can be related to the tendon shape defined by the angle theta, the ratio of the stopper to gap length gamma, and the tube diameter d using a set of kinematic equations. To design actuation for a helical antenna specifically, we look at the limits the antenna application puts on the design space. In particular, this adds an additional target parameter, the desired operating frequency or equivalently the desired wavelength. For helical antennas, the circumference of the antenna relates directly to the desired wavelength. For optimal operation, there is an additional constraint relating the radius and pitch of the helix to that wavelength. Together, these equations give two inequality constraints, given that we would like to target radio frequencies above 700 MHz. The physical size of the robot imposes a final constraint, limiting the minimum pitch to avoid self-intersection. For a given tube diameter, the potential design space looks like this. The operating frequencies for a design form approximately horizontal lines across the space. For a larger diameter, the design space is similar, but the frequency cutoff shortens the space, and it is not possible to achieve higher operating frequencies. In our prototype, we choose a tendon angle of 2.5 degrees and a spacing ratio of 0.5. Using these parameters, we construct a soft robot antenna as outlined in the figure, with identical tendons spiraled in opposite directions and crossing at two points. Pulling the right-handed tendon forms a right-handed helix, while the left-handed tendon forms a left-handed helix, achieving handedness switching. The prototype antenna, pictured here in all three states, has a pitch close to the diameter of the tube and a radius of the helix equal to 2.8 centimeters. To test the operation of the soft robotic antenna, the prototype was placed on top of a ground plate and measured in an anechoic chamber, sized specifically to measure far field radio waves. Velcro tabs were also added to keep the antenna assembled when depressurized. Looking at the return loss measurement first, simulation results show that we expect a single clear resonance peak, which matches closely with the experimentally measured resonance peak of the helical antenna. As well, the shape of the return loss for the right and left handed configurations are consistent with each other. While the frequency response is similar in the two states, it is in the radiation pattern that we see the reconfiguration of the antenna properties. For the right-handed helix configuration, we see amplification of right-handed polarized signals and attenuation in left-handed polarized signals. Helical antennas are directional, so the point of comparison is along the axis of the main lobe. The left-handed helix configuration shows the opposite response, amplifying left-handed polarized signals. We see a 6 to 10 decibel decrease between the same handed and opposite handed signals, or equivalently a 75 to 90 percent reduction in signal strength, indicating that we are achieving polarity switching with the demonstrated reconfiguration. Finally, we can automatically reconfigure the antenna design using DC motors to actuate the tendons. Here we measure the conductivity between the start and end segments to confirm the antenna has fully assembled and the antenna is able to robustly switch between the two assembled states without error. In a system actually in use, a return loss measurement could be used to give a similar sense of the antenna state. This demonstrates the potential for soft robots in EM systems and reconfigurable antenna design, and in the future we hope to make even more dramatic reconfiguration possible with systems like these. I'd like to thank my co-authors and sponsors for this project, and thank you all for your attention.